1986 on Riverview Farm. We today are cutting this field of barley. It's one of the big. It's the biggest field we own so far, and so getting this cut is a bit of a must at the moment. Got one more field to harvest after this, and we're back to the cultivating and the winter drilling well the autumn drilling for next season's crops we shall uh, see where things go from here so hopefully we should be able to three-speed gearbox for our vehicles trying out the new speed control which basically gives you the speed control from farming simulator 11 and I think it was 13 it did come out as a mod for others but, uh, Here we go now. Got to see beyond the tree. Look a bit. We can get that next time we come. Yeah, these uh, fields need to be cultivated. Some of them will need lime. They yep, was all ploughed last season so we don't have any ploughing to do. That's one good thing about that. Could also purchase ourselves some more land. We'll see what happens on that going forward check what loan we've got, we've got 800 and something thousand pound to pay out, but uh, yeah, everything as far as working fine. there didn't cut as it I think it was there where it didn't cut in the first season's harvest cultivator out as soon as we can right. this field isn't yielding too bad I think now was it actually fertilized uh, it's fertilized 75 percent so uh, it's yielding pretty well 
We'll take the barley, of course, and tip it in the shed. Unless, of course, we've got a great barley demand. I'm not really sure that we have. I mean, where's the prices for barley? Prices aren't brilliant at the moment. That's uh, the problem. So we can't be wanting to be selling stuff if we don't get a great demand during the winter of course we've got to pick the best place to sell and make what we can but trying to hang on to it to see if we can get to a great demand we've got the wool to sell as well so probably tomorrow we shall be doing the wool Go back the way we came. Here we are. Back around this way now. <coughs> so uh, we're about half a tank off the first time around. So uh, we shall see how things go on this time around probably get all the way around before we get the tank full but uh, we shall continue working the day out after we leave you at the moment we want to get this first tank full sorted out see where the weeds were that we sprayed off and they did do a little bit of damage to the yield but not too great a damage but, uh, going forward into 1987 then uh, we shall Hopefully be getting a new tractor. Could do with another tractor on the job. But, uh, just here, for some reason, the crop doesn't harvest very well on that one Double. section of field. But, uh, we shall see what land is for sale and be it on top of the farm or away off the farm. We do want to start growing potatoes as well and sugar beet if we can. Chickens and the sheep are getting this time around. We are getting very much a good load in here. We're not going to get all the way round, I don't think, before the tank is full. Big river. Around we go. And everything's looking pretty good at the moment. We are almost full, so we put out the auger. We should soon have to go. And fetch our tractor and trailer. We'll get to this end of the field and set into the next breed. And we shall have to stop. Here we go. There we go. 
And now we shall stop there and go fetch the bit of lime but uh, we'll get this next field done so where did we leave the trailer that's a funny matter of instance and so what we've got here wheat and what we've got here is it oats or is it that's oats in there where did we dump the trailer that's the thing now the trailer must be around in the farmyard here somewhere Get that and uh, I don't know where we've dumped the trailer. It's in there, that's where the trailer got dumped, so uh, this tractor will. in here, what's them look like? Yeah, so they are, I think, oats what are in here. We do need to tip the oats out. So, uh, yeah, if we didn't get things sorted too well, that wants to go there, that wants to go there, and use that. bring the tractor and book it round, just check what we've got in there. Easiest way to check will be to bring the tractor and book it. So we shall join you okay, when we are back we in are the field. Okay, we are back in the field. Now we shall continue with the harvesting of our field of barley. We shall get this tank emptied and then go around finish off the headlands by the time we finish the headlands we should want to empty into here again which is good and so here we go again and yeah it's uh, Working well this combine, this is its second season harvesting on our farm. Good bit of land around that we are interested in buying if it ever comes up for sale. That one field there next to the farmyard which we really need to get because Saves another farmer coming down our farm track. And here we go now for the last time around the headlands. This case that will flow working pretty well that 
field there. It's a fairly big field and we could do with buying it. I don't know how much it is, but uh, I know that field is going up for sale. Because the guy who owns it isn't too well, feeling too well. Let's have a look and see what field that is. Which is ahead of us, field 17. Field 17 is coming up there. It's a fairly big field as well, so it's... Uh, chance for us to take on another field. Come up to a deal before he harvests it, that would be just as well. And get a bit of the money back we're spending on the farm. There again is a piece of the land and just in this one field because that one piece doesn't harvest. But, uh, everything is all good. It's not costing us a great deal of money. It's uh, Not a big patch of land we miss out on each season. gearbox system, well it's a speed control but it works like a gearbox, essentially gives you three cruise control gears and with this as you see on gear one gives you six miles per hour, there's gear two which is 12 miles per hour Gear three on this one takes you to 14 miles per hour, so uh, you essentially got a gearbox, a three speed gearbox for the vehicles, which is good. Now, combine still in diff locks and everything from when we had it in the die. I think next time you join us we may well be finished in this field of barley and doing our last field over there or our last field to start. We will have to check once we get to the end of this headland we will check and see how much field 17 is. We may be able to shortly purchase it, although we have got some money to pay off the big mortgage that we've got. We took that out in 85, it's now 86 yeah. harvest. We go straight down here and then bring, put ourselves in. But let's just have a look and see how much it will cost us for field 17. And it's 397,000, so we're not going to be able to afford it at this moment in time. So, here we go. Excuse me. We'll get to this end of here and then we'll take our first split through the field. We 
will at the end of here tip into the trailer just to make sure we are empty for going through the first split I don't want to be taking a split through with a nearly full grain tank this trailer filled and tipped into the shed and as you see we may well even see about doing a contract on field 17 or even doing anything but uh, we shall leave that there Barley will not be of any use to us for chickens. Would be of use for us for chickens, but we don't want to use it for chickens, we want to keep them on wheat. Out there in the real world, barley in farming simulator is one of the crops that is okay to feed to chickens but out in the real world barley is too fattening for them so they wouldn't lay as many eggs but, uh, let's just have a look while this is empty and see if there is a contract to do harvest field 17 Yes, field 17 harvesting, 9,351. We shall accept that contract. And we'll do that once we have finished our own harvest. And now through we go. Go down and through the split through here, will do as nicely this piece there what doesn't cut as well so uh, it is a bit of a bug, I think it's a bug with the map but other than that the map seems fine guy who owns field 17 not being very well we are going to harvest that field for him not sure what he's got in it actually I never took any notice of what he had in it let's just have a look it's soya beans so we can cut it with our combine that's lucky enough we haven't got to buy any special equipment to or lease any special equipment to uh, do his harvest for him. And once we get this split worked out and gone round, one more split I think through this field. this field and then do our other field and some contracting before the end of harvest need to get a bit of co uh, contracting done if we can because uh, 
We need to get some money coming in. pretty well we're getting a good crop off it so uh, we've got all our grain to sell the field to harvest that we've took the contract on and, uh, we can earn some money off that field before we get everything sorted See so once we've also once we've sold the the wall, I'm not sure what sort of price we get for the wall. We'll have a look. And, uh, probably sell the wool and the eggs next time to get some money into the farm. The sheep are a great help here on the farm. produce a good bit of wool. I mean, we've got two pallets of wool off them since we bought them. Hopefully, soon get another one. If we've got three pallets of wool, that will be great for taking the take the sides off of the tipper trailer and take the wool then to the Woolen mill. Again, almost half a tank again. Seems like we've got enough of a split, which will work this end out. We are slowly creeping up to a full trailer, which is what we're going to harvest today on camera, is one trailer. And we shall take that, dump it into the Not sure where his contract is taking stuff to. Can't see it flashing now. Ah, there it is, to the mill. It's got to go to the mill, so 17 down to the mill, not too far. So by the time you join us, we will have got that contract on. We're going to do the contract off screen. round after this one done to fill the tank up. Mm. 
this little there chunk in. we've got here, which goes down to this 13 and 14 is probably in the same patch as well. I'm not sure whether you can get to it or whether you have to run around the road to get to the others, but uh, field 12 is just beyond. That's on a different track, I think. We definitely not want to get another full round on, so we shall harvest that. We should tip this into the trailer. that has filled the trailer up so we shall take this tip it into the shed come out of this gate across yeah, it is field 12 down the bottom of that roadway I'm not sure but we've got some Liming to do, we've got a contract to do, we've got two fields of our own to do and one of somebody else's, so uh, we'll uh, keep working on things as they are. So now we've got the video once we've got this tipped for today. That will be as much as you can do. Just want to check on that. I think that's wheat we've got in there unless it is barley. Crows coming in eating our crops in the shed. That is wheat, yes. So, uh, yeah, we've opened that gate, so we'll get in that door and. Uh, Tip the wheat in. Also need some more seed rate put in here, so we've got to go right to the back of the shed. Only one door oh, in this one. Bit. It's the biggest of a badly designed shed, really, but uh, should have had the twin doors on this side and not on the other side. But there we go. So as we tip this, hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like give it a share if you are new to summer farm estates and would like to see more of the work we do here please subscribe to the channel give that bell a knock it will tell you when we do these videos when we do our live streams until next time all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching until next time, it's bye-bye.